hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Hobbit book and the movies and Lord of the Rings and the Lord of the Rings movies let's get started so the Hobbit is about so Bilbo Baggins he's a Hobbit and Gandalf is asking if he will want to go on the quest um because because of the relationship he had with his mother so later that night a lot of dwarfs came over to Bilbo's house um be because for the quest they explained it that the quest is to gain their land back and defeat the dragon smog I think is how you pronounce it so Bilbo goes on the quest with them until he finds this mysterious ring from a strange creature known as Go Gollum. I, I really like this book. J.R.R. Tolkien, the author, um, is really descriptive. The words are quite small. So you guys should read this book if you like like a challenging read. Um, my favorite chapter was Riddles in the Dark, where Bilbo does riddles with Gollum. So yeah, this book is really good. If you're too lazy and or no or if you don't like reading um and if you want to watch the movies instead don't read the book here's the reason why moving on to the reviews for the movies right here so i own all the movies as you can see Let me just... yeah so here's all the movies um don't so you see you see um there's three movies there's one book. You see how small these words are? You might be thinking, oh, that's small. There's 300 pages. This book takes 10 hours. Lord of the Rings. There's three Lord of the Rings movies. There's three Lord of the Rings books. Each have um, smaller print than The Hobbit. And each book takes 20 hours. So like I said, this this thing... Like, if you want, if you watch like all of the Hobbit in like one day, that's how long it will take you to read the book if you're a fast reader. So these are nothing like it. They added a bunch of stuff in and have, instead of took a lot of stuff out. Like this one is probably like the closest to the book that you're gonna get. If you read the book, this is nothing like the book. But that's the closest. This some stuff, but. This is like half of it is added. This is only five pages in the book. They made it into a three hour movie. <laughs> into a three hour movie. Yeah. So, don't watch the movies. Read the books. Because if, if if you read the book, there, there, there's a lot of stuff different with the movie. If you haven't read the book, you'll like the movies. But if you read, I give the book like an eight out of ten. I give the movies after reading the book a 6 out of 10. If I have to rank them, it will go the first one, the third one, and then the second one. These movies are not good. So that's, that's all the Hobbit stuff. Now time for the Lord of the Rings stuff. So, I had to return the first two, but I still have the third one because I finished it like the other day. The Return of the King, but... I'm reviewing the whole series, so I also the movies. Not the third movie because I haven't. I only seen the first thirty minutes, so I'm not. I'm not even gonna mention that. But these first two, I'm gonna be reviewing. So the first one, after sixty years. Oh my god. Okay, sixty years after the Hobbit, Bilbo is a hundred and I think eleven or ten, and and it's his birthday. He's giving like this speech talking about how he leaves. He slips on the ring which he na he's now attached to because the ring makes you attached to it. And the Dark Lord the ring, pretty much. So yeah, he puts it on. He wants to give it to Frodo, but he can't because, like I said, he's attached to it. So Gandalf has to make him give it to Frodo. He's mad about that, but Bilbo leaves. Frodo comes. Gandalf gives the ring to Frodo. Like Then Gandalf's missing. Ten years later, Gandalf comes back tells Frodo like what he learned about the ring. And then, and then Frodo goes on the quest 
to meet Gandalf at the Prancing Pony with um, Frodo, Sam, Pippin, and Mary all go there. And so, if you put on the ring, you turn invisible. And then, but when you have the ring on, the Dark Lord can see you, and the ring is trying to get back to the Dark Lord. So, the Dark Riders go after Frodo every time he puts the ring on. Uh, but, at the Prancing Pony, Gandalf was not there, and Frodo was singing on the table. <laughs> then he jumped off the table, the ring uh, slipped on him, and then Strider helps them. He helps them out, um, and he take and then Frodo is stabbed by the Black Riders. He's taken to Rivendell to heal, um, and then they form together the Fellowship to destroy the ring in Mountain Doom. This is a volcano. So, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, I'm not explaining it all because it spoils it, but the trilogy, I give, the books, I give 9 out of 10. Now, time for the movie, the first two movies. The first one is like almost just like the book. Like half of the chapters are gone though, so. Like the first half. The second one is going to change it, but overall it's similar. Like, and if you don't have time to read, this this time you can watch the movies. They're really accurate. But I recommend reading The Lord of the Rings if you read The Hobbit. If you haven't read The Hobbit, or if you've just seen the movies, um, read the books. They're better. But yeah. So, yeah. I give the trilogy so far not a no, 9 out of 10 for the movies. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And subscribe if if you like. Well, because my channel is just book reviews. So if that's something you're into, subscribe. And see you guys next time. Bye.